Very good evening. Welcome along to uh, this is the first blog of uh, 2017, um, number 16, I think. Um, yeah, wow, uh, <laughs> what an end of a year. It was uh, it was pretty crazy, uh, and in Sydney at the moment, it's like it's 10 o'clock at night, and it's still 29 degrees. It's just ridiculous. So I don't know if I'll talk for long, but anyway, welcome. This is number one. Bit of a slow start tonight. Um, a few things going on. Uh, I'm going to kick off more interviews next week. Um, a lot of you have been talking about doing actors uh, talk about themselves, but with other people in the industry. So I'm starting that. I've got an interview uh, coming up this week, uh, actually next week. And so uh, next Friday, I'll be uh, be releasing this new interview. I won't tell you what it is until I've done the trailer. But uh, yeah, it's really interesting. And it's one that a few of you have been asking for. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening. Uh, what else is going on? I'm, I'm sort of back in the swing of it. I'm filming a commercial next week. Uh, I had another audition today. It's been a really quick start to the day. Um, and we just got back from New Zealand. We had our, our uh, Christmas holidays in New Zealand, went to see my mum, um, and it was freezing, absolutely freezing. If any, if you guys live in New Zealand, you'll know how cold it was this Christmas time. It was just ridiculous. Um, and of course, the next day we got back, it was like 38 degrees in Sydney, which was just <laughs> crazy. Uh, and I taught for a whole day, so I've had two working days pretty much straight off the bat. So good way to start the year. Um, and, you know, a couple of other things uh, I'll tell you about as well. But uh, I'm going to show you some photos. There's only a few, but... Um, Want to see some holiday snaps? Yeah, cool. Here we go. So, um, this first one is well, that's the Christmas tree. That's actually the Christmas tree in Martin Place. Um, I took Rosie there. Um, that's myself getting in the uh, the Christmas spirit. Uh, yeah, as uh, one of the uh, the reindeer. Now, that was my first night in New Zealand. I went to see a great band called Catch a Fire, um, and you'll see that on my cap. Um, a rigo show. Ah, caught a fish. That's a kawai. Um, and it does look small. My hand does look big, but uh, that was with Rosie's new fishing rod. Now, this one here, um, this is in Tairua Harbour. Um, this is, uh, we sat in Pawanui Beach, and this is just the magnificent uh, view that we had. Um, we just walked down to the estuary. Um, the Pahutakawa trees, um, I went sort of further afield. It was pretty crazy. Um, and this is my view from New Year's Eve. Um, yeah, that was magnificent. Just a, such an a, amazing setting uh, as the sun was setting. I was the driver. I was the responsible one. Um, I drove my mum around, actually. And uh, now this one here, this is really interesting. This is... Um, Oh, we've got friends at a at a little little place called Fangamata, which is uh, on the Coromandel. We go and visit them, and they have this gnome in their toilet, and it's there's a bit of pressure really because every time I go to their place, I do something to the gnome. Like the like you could probably tell that that gnome is Donald Trump. Um, if you can't, then I apologise for my lack of imagination, but that's what it is. Um, it's he's been Osama bin Laden. Um, he's been um, sort of face down um, in a bowl of water. Um, he's been sort of attached to a cross at Easter time. All sorts of things. Uh, the poor gnome, uh, he really cops it. So uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's something that we did. Um, yeah, I ended up spending like two weeks in New Zealand, and as I said, it was very cold, but it was it was amazing. And uh, you know, hopefully, you guys got to you know see friends and family. Um, it's always a weird time, um, and you know this is something from a creative perspective as well. Going back to New Zealand really, it gives me a lot creatively, um, but also it's like zipping in and out of different worlds. I don't know if you've ever experienced really, you know, coming from one place and living somewhere else, but it's like I have two lives, um, and it's almost as if I change into another person when I go to New Zealand, uh, which is good. Um, but it's also, that's my past, that's my life years ago now. So, yeah, it's kind of kind of a weird feeling to get back, and it takes me a while to settle back into it. Um, so, you know, what I've got planned uh, for this year, um, you know, I really want to make some moves with, with acting work. That's really what I'm committed to. Um, and actually, interesting, I'm going to give you this website. There's a... Um, this is a great website and a great lady that I, I, you know, someone sent to me, and uh, her name's Susie Moore. Uh, so click onto it; you can subscribe, and she she just gives you amazing um, 
you know, just amazing guidance. Uh, and I'm going to try and dig up one of these sort of every week, you know, just some little information because, you know, I'm not going to, you know, tell you everything, but I'd, I'd like to, you know, give you, you know, a few websites and some people to follow and some things to read. Um, but she's amazing. And, and there was a couple of the emails that really stood out. One of them was about being willing, you know, and starting the year and, you know, really focusing on what you want to do and just be willing to do it. And the other one is being 100% committed because quite often we're like 80 or not, even 90% committed is not being 100% committed. Um, so, yeah, this year I'm 100% committed to just going nuts with my acting. Um, you know, I'll be teaching as well and I'll be doing my video blogs and I want to do writing, but it's really going to be about 100% with my acting work this year and also 100% about my health. I, I still want to continue to lose weight. So they are the two things I'm really going for. So hopefully you'll, you'll uh, you know, keep me honest with that. And I'll be interested to find out what you guys are 100% committed to this year. I'd really be interested to know that. So, uh, yeah, um, check out Susie Moore. Um, as I said, I'll, uh, you know, offer you some other websites and, you know, just things that I, I, I come across, you know, along the way, which I think are, are pretty useful just on a day-to-day -day basis. And look out for next week. We've got our very first uh, An Actor Talks to Someone interview. Um, anyway, I'm boiling. Um, it's I'm sweating. Uh, I'm going to have something cold and sit next to a fan. So welcome back to 2017, everyone. It's great to have you back. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Yeah, nah, sweet.